Okay, hello out there YouTube. Today we're doing a video on the X360 key um, and just some errors that can occur during install and um, what you can do to help avoid it. I know we tried for ages trying to get this thing to work. It was pretty frustrating. Um, we have four different Xbox, as you can see. Um, there's another one up there. We've got two more down below and it wouldn't work with any of them. And as you can see, you know, I mean, the install guide, it's not terribly complicated. It's only a couple of pages, you know, and you follow pretty much to the letter as to how we're supposed to do this. Our cables are all connected properly. We tried everything. We tried a brand new SD card inside. We tried brand new ribbon tape. We tried everything. We tried different hard drives and we still couldn't figure it out because every time we did, we got the same error. Oh no, the dreaded red ring of death. Now what do we do? And that was how it continued for age upon age upon age until we happened upon a solution. Ta-da! So what was the solution? That USB dongle can't go all the way in. It needs to go in just slightly until you feel a connection and then you know that your Xbox 360 key is working. So as you can see, right now the hard drive is just taking a little bit of time to load up. As soon as it does, you'll see that it asks you to, um, you know, to proceed to the next step so you have to wait until that hard drive takes a little bit to boot. Well, there we go, hard disk drive connected. Okay, one hard drive and then you can pick whichever game you want if you've already got those loaded onto your hard drive. It'll ask you to open the tray, which you'll do. Now keep in mind this is just a very simplistic um, way of talking about this one particular error, the entire install process. Um, it is pretty technical, um, but there you go. Got it working with the games that are installed on the hard drive versus using games on CD. So again, this is a nice way of figuring out exactly um, you know what the error is and here it was just making sure that that dongle was not plugged in all the way.